Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! You can write React code in this format. However, in the long run, it will be very very hard to maintain this kind of application. So we need a better way to write JavaScript code. For now, I will create a new file and I will name it app.jsx. JSX is a statically type object-oriented programming language designed to run on modern web browsers. JSX is fast, safe and easier to work with and of course we will see why starting in the next video. So what I will do now is to take the React code inside the index file and move it inside the app.jsx. We of course have to include that file so the src here will be app.jsx. Now if you try to go to the browser and run this code, it will not work. And if I bring the console, you will see that the error is about a cross-origin request. So yeah, we cannot really run this code without having a server. So let's create a server. Don't worry about this. Our server will be very very simple. So first, let's create a package.json file to manage our dependencies. In your terminal, run npm init. So this will initialize the package.json file. So the name will be does it react and everything else will be default. Now let's create a server.js file. So server.js. So in this file, we are going to create an express server. So with npm, we can install express and save it as a dependency. Once you have express installed, you can see the dependency right here. So let's see now how we can create a server. So in the express website, getting started, hello world, you can see the basic steps that you need to create a server. Believe it or not, all we need to do is pretty much this amount of code. So inside the server.js file, we will create an express variable, so var express, and we will include or require express. Now I will assign this to an app variable, so we can have access to all the express functions. For example, to serve static files such as images and CSS and JavaScript, we can do something like this. App.use and then express static. So back to the code. App.use express.static and this requires a folder. I will name the folder public and of course we have to create it. So create a directory public. Because the server expects all the static files to be inside the public folder, we have to move app and index inside. Now we want to start the server and listen on port 8080 for connections. So app.listen 8080 and let's also print maybe console.log something. For example, console.log server is running on port 8080. The last step in this video will be the package.json file. The main entry point is index.js. However, our main point is app.jsx. So make sure you change the file here to app.jsx. And the last step is to start the server. So we have to run this server.js file. Node server.js. And you can see here that it says server is running on port 8080, which is the log right here. Now, if I go back to the browser and I go to localhost 8080, we should see the result without any problem. Excellent! In this video, you learned how to create a server in Express and serve static files like HTML and JavaScript. So in the next one, we will see how we can create components in React and we will also see why we need to write code in JSX. So why do we prefer JSX with React instead of JavaScript?